Well, with the weather getting cooler and cooler, this is probably a pretty good time for me to talk to you guys about antifreeze. Antifreeze is pretty simple stuff. It's made of three basic components. Each of them's got a pretty specific important function to do. It's made of water and glycol and additives. Now the water is an antifreeze because water does a great job of removing heat. And this is job one in your engine. Your engine produces all this excess heat it needs to get rid of. You need to take it away from the engine block and move it to the radiator. Water is a perfect media for that. The second component in antifreeze is the glycol. And there's just about as much glycol as there is water in a typical antifreeze mix. And the job of the glycol is to prevent your antifreeze system from freezing solid when the temperature gets below 32. By having about a 50-50 mixture of glycol and water, you can drop that freezing point from 32 degrees down to something like negative 45. So you're pretty likely to be protected with the proper mix of antifreeze in your engine. And the third component in our mixture are the additives. And these additives are specifically designed to help prevent corrosion in your engine and prevent deposits, depend, uh, rust and other kinds of scale from occurring inside your engine because all of these things not only damage the system, but they also prevent effective heat transfer. And of course, the whole cooling system is about effective heat transfer. Now, what you might not know or might be interested in knowing is that some time ago, well, well over a decade ago, all of the engine manufacturers for both cars and heavy duty trucks shifted from the old technology, conventional antifreezes, over to new technology antifreeze. The old stuff, the conventional antifreezes, relied on a certain type of chemistry and typically you might have seen those, they were typically dyed green. The newer technology stuff is called organic acid technology. So people call them OATs, O-A-T, that's what it stands for. And these OATs have a number of things that give them superior performance to the conventional stuff. Exactly the reason that all the OEMs use them and have used them for some time. First of all is the life of the fluid. Back in the day, a typical conventional fluid would have to be changed every 25 or 30,000 miles in a car. And in a truck, that number was maybe 100, 120,000, 140,000 miles. Today, with OAT type antifreezes, your typical passenger car gets at least 100 to 120,000. Trucks with their big systems can go up to a million miles on these OATs. So that's a pretty impressive improvement in its own right. On top of that, these OATs offer protection for heavy duty diesel trucks and their liners against liner pittings. This is a very specific problem with heavy duty diesel trucks. OATs do it without special additives that were required when you had a conventional antifreeze. You also get better heat transfer, somewhere 8%, 12% better heat transfer with OATs than compared to conventional, uh, conventional antifreezes. And that's fairly helpful. On top of that, you get your, your OAT will tolerate dilution of different antifreezes in it better than the conventional, conventional product would. So check your owner's manual, see what they recommend. Certainly if you're in a warranty period, it's always a good idea to follow what the manufacturer recommends. And depending on the kind of car you drive, um, not all OATs are identical. They differ by the types of additive packages they have and the, the Asian OEMs seem to have a different philosophy than the European OEMs, which seem to have a little bit different additive philosophy than the North American OEMs. So if you're going to get a replacement product in an auto parts store, that may be how they're divided up there. And one more insider tip that I'll give you, my bit of advice, people often ask me what's a good thing to know about antifreezes. Buy your antifreeze pre-diluted with water as opposed to buying the concentrate and mixing yourself. Yes, you are paying a little bit more for water, but the water that they're using when they pre-dilute it is the right kind, the high quality water that you need, uh, because most people don't realize that poor quality water itself can make a huge difference in how long your engine's cooling system will last.